Welcome back to the road to 56 miles an hour. We have finally got onto the continent and well, where I last left off, I just helped take Sherbrooke to get, help get, get supplies in. And I'm basically waiting for all these to come back. Ooh, war, war. Waiting for all our manpower and other reinforcements to get, get up here. We are starting to run low on that, and I have increased the conscription to service by requirements. But for now, but for now we're recovering. I think what I'm going to do is try and help clean up around um, Tour Chateau. Like we don't have many divisions. What they, what I can do, however, is maybe provide a kind of spearhead. But again, that's reliant on our strength going back. Oh, Yugoslavia has revolted. Against... Romania? So, this part here. Ah! Person uprising. That should, um, distract them for a little bit. I'm gonna change the, um... Stock infantry I have over to the, to a 20 width division. Basically, it's motorized infantry, but with the infantry replaced with okay, infantry. So I'm just going to run a quick comparison with this. So here's what we have for the motorized division. It's level amount of soft attack, attack. And our Fomorian infantry. More defense. Soft attack, hard attack. Basically, these guys are special forces, so they're gonna they're gonna be tougher than regular infantry anyway. Which means I need the support horse artillery. Well, I'm gonna keep it because it'll but because it buffs them. Maybe I should change a few other things here. Yeah, I'll keep logistics because these guys were like a lot of supply and gonna buff a few other things as well. Okay, we're roughly in position. Bearing. Go, boys, go! And yep, we're. We're basically just going to keep pushing. So we do have probably some help from... Oh no, this is all Irish against one German infantry division and a Romanian infantry division. This isn't going so well because we only have one division. But we'll put, we can basically flank them. Oh, seen before? What does he have about him? nothing? With let's go with this for the extra coordination. So the downside to these um shock troops is they take longer to recover after an assault. They're basically meant to punch a hole in the, hole in the line for more troops to, to funnel through. And you can see we're starting to pull back because we haven't got the supply or, or to stretch thin. I'm just going to tighten this. Session, recover a little bit of Rorg. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this crossing entirely, focusing on this narrow front bul and bulge in towards Chateau and Limo. Limo? I don't speak French, please correct me if you do, if I'm wrong. Yep, we're pushing through on as narrow a front as possible. They don't have supplies, so we're, we're basically overrunning them again. This is kind of what happens in the, happens in the early game when I was, um, Pushing through North Africa, but then I stole before Tripoli. 
fact, all these naval bases here are from me just trying to get our supply back. That shouldn't be as much of a problem here. But the supply looks pretty good. Actually, I'm going to change this. Probably easier to just do it this way. Yep, don't have the organization to push, but we'll get there. Second thoughts. Put us down here so we can actually push this way. And our air doctors are completely maxed out. Naval toxins almost. Land doxin. Special forces done that ages ago. Right, things aren't all going our way. Need to wait for our organization to come back up before we go on the next assault. Right, posterity trains. Whereas, I do it next. Camouflage pattern. Reduction of damage against chaos. Good. No, I've just told them to manually take, try taking Limoges. Whatever it's pronounced. What I'm going to do is tell them to just follow the railway up towards Vichy, cut this area off. Link up, link up with the with the with the French, Italians, and Brits over here. Of course, first we do have to hold here. Shorten up that line there. Well, we're put, we're pushing, and it looks like we actually have a little encirclement here, courtesy of these um medium tank brigades oh guys stop doing that focus on this get to Vichy yep. supplies are a bit low but that's because oh Chile has joined the war Now, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I've no real reason to go for any of these yet at the moment. So the special forces might not be a bad idea. Eh. Oh what the hell, I might as well. I think I'm just gonna help mop up this little pocket here. That's quite a few divisions who are trapped there. Granted, we have them outnumbered, but it's still worth getting rid of. Oh, they're trying to push out. So we push in. Yeah, they have no supply left, which means they're having to make every shot count means they're going to hold fire until they know they're likely to get us. But it's not going to matter because we are overrunning them. So upgrading his ships as well, what little we have. I think the one thing I'm going to get out of this once Germany capitulates, I'm going to take a lot, as much fleet as I can get away with. Of course, we probably won't be able to use much of it, but...
And let's go finish up this area here. There being the last stand. They can't hold out for long. Alright, now that we've taken this little section here, I'm just around here heading towards first side. Basically, switch up direct attack direction from time to time just to this where we can hopefully have less enemies. Oh, that's unexpected. Prepared war on the Russian Empire? Our... Where the hell did that come from? It's just hearts of iron things. Russian Empire joined Greater East Asian Co Prosperity Sphere. So that's where they are. Weird. Uh, Japanese Irish War. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how this game or this mod works. Sometimes don't ask. Okay, this just fired again. Sometimes events seem to just fire again for a real reason. Who knows how this game works? I sure as hell don't. So there are three infantry division, German infantry divisions here. Trying to hold out against all this. Well, I suppose you got to hand it to them to at least um, go down fighting. And we are now so short of trucks that... Tongo was trying to lend us some. And we're basically losing a lot of trucks doing this. Well, that's that dealt with. Now to push through Versailles up to, Fra up to Paris. This is where the shock troops are going to excel. Well, we're moving into Paris now. But they're all they're dug in, which is going to make this a bit of a pain. And we are very short of trucks again. I finally have submarines. Usually when I'm playing, I actually put them first, build them first rather than destroyers. There's a reason for that. Let's see if I can fix it. Yeah, you can see that this submarine doesn't cost too much to build. 740 production cost, whereas these destroyers cost about 1300. They're a lot cheaper, they use up less manpower, and they can hide from enemy ships much better. Well, Paris is now encircled. That should help a little bit. And let's see if we can't help with that. So basically, they're, if they're surrounded, they have to fight in all multiple different directions at once. 
that doesn't help them. It helps us. It's just how I like it. And we have our first pilot ace. Being on Green Devil O'Higgins. Mel boy. Russian Empire capitulated. So they were taken over by the German Reich or I don't know how it works. Yeah, we have them outnumbered on all surrounded. One last push, guys. And Paris has been liberated. I'm gonna pull back here and let's get a lot of trucks through because you can see we are that we are six hundred short. More than six hundred. And we are building about twelve a day. That's gonna give us where's the six tab? Forty eight days, and that's just to not be short. Uh, what's wrong with this is the third time this has shown up yeah i got the message stop telling me game I accidentally set my those air support planes to um board strike and they're actually doing a fair chunk of damage to the ships granted it's not going to be very effective and it's not like we really Need these ships sunk, but it'll screw them over a little bit. Maybe I should put them on the logistics strike instead while I'm waiting. Oh, we're losing a lot to air. Yeah, not. Right. Another 30 days, yeah, another month, we'll be able to use this. It's all early trucks, which are just useless for this. Sort of thing. Not going to use early trucks on the stock infantry. Well, let's see, now we have a shortage of seven. Let me see what I find back to this. Hmm. Does actually have an impact. Use all those old trucks. Is there autonomy? Hmm. Do I want to do this? Why not? Normally, what I do with this is I actually go down the um. The file administration and then negotiate Northern Ireland for assistance. Mainly because it gives me here yeah, a few extra factories, some dockyards, and some uh, aluminium. Like, there's really no reason not to. All right, I think it's time we start pushing again. I know it's technically a superior enemy, as in they outnumber us alone, but they don't outnumber the allies. Again, I'm pushing up towards um, Calais and Dunkirk because there are ports up here. It will all just help get supplies through. We are down 500 trucks. 
don't think motorized only infantry really works for us. Oh, look, we've actually managed to push through on this side. The allies have. That means I am going to build, immediately build a railway down here. Be a priority now because. That has to, that has to come first. It'll help. It'll help with this area here. Also, a sail my here around. I should build a few naval bases as well. And you know what? Railway construction speed plus ten percent. Mind if I do? Bush guys, take Luxembourg back. Uh, of course, it's in the middle of a forest, so that's going to screw over our air support, bitch. Oh, and now we don't have the supplies to actually continue that because ah, Metz is slightly cut off. Let's do champagne. Ah, that. So I'll go with this for frontline supply. See in the naval side of things. Put these two hours on competing. Yeah, we're put we're pulling back from that line. Pull back to Paris, everyone. Well, we've a fair amount of amount of um effort for our size. Yeah, second place for team with the Italians. As far as there. That Germany. Hey, we're in fourth place. Yeah, USSR 3.6 million, USA 1.2, UK 1.2, Free France 4.6, sorry. So we're having a fairly large impact size. Having zero impact on this, but expect still on that side of the world. We almost have as much impact as the USA does. With six divisions. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! We went and put a. All the effort into take Calais, and they're pushing us back. Well, I finally have a surplus of trucks again. I mean, they're gonna throw them away on another assault towards Antwerp. Well, we can award a medal someone. Sixth Irish Motor Division, awarded for holding fast despite sustaining extreme casualties in the line of duty. Hmm.
I do have a mod installed that gives these it gives a unique um, medals for different countries. So these are the ones for Ireland. Military medley for gallantry. Add extra defense, which wouldn't be bad. Experience gain. That might not be bad. And it would be even more if we got we're using infantry, but we aren't. Experience soldier losses. That would be handy. Because we're losing a lot of people. Christian, that would be better. Plus extra attack against major countries. Cock Germany. Cock. But I think I'm gonna go with division defense because defense also influences breakthrough. And we're currently on the defense right now. So sixth Irish Motor Division is hereby site awarded the Valorous Military Merrill Country. Holding fast to sustaining extreme casualties in the line of duty. Well, we're currently in a bit of a stalemate around, around Brussels. Last war. So I am going to call it there for the time being. See you in the next one. Slong a foil.